Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on creating a glass material in Rhino 7. We'll be following on from the previous tutorial that looked at creating PBR materials in Rhino 7 and we'll be following the same process but making our reflective glass material in this session. Now I'm going to be changing the material of this object on this volume here and we're going to start by just as before creating a new material making it a physically based material and I'm going to call this glass. Now for this we need to first change the base colour setting and we're going to just keep the base colour as white but we're going to lower our roughness value down to a zero there. So we've got a white base colour and a roughness value of zero and I'm going to just apply this material to these two objects here. Now you see there'll be no change at the moment because we haven't changed the colour of this. It will just be white. So the next setting I want to change is the opacity and this controls the transparency and the see-throughness of our glass. Now you see as you apply that it will automatically give it a value of 0.2 in the opacity chart. And I'm actually going to lower this down to an opacity of 0. So it's fully transparent there, that glass. Now in the render view it will be quite hard to see but we'll do the test in a render preview as well to check that this is rendering out correctly. So with my opacity I'm going to set it to zero and I'm going to leave the other settings just as they are for now as well. Now we're going to go back to the detailed settings and we're going to turn on the specularity so we can control the shininess of this object. And I'm going to turn the specularity up to a value of one there. And essentially that's all there really is to it. It's important to note that my glass here is modelled with a slight thickness and I usually model the glass with a thickness of about one centimetre or ten millimetres. You'll find that if you do it as a single plane you might get some strange results when you render it out. And we'll do a quick render preview to see how this is appearing. So that's just loading up there and you can see that we've got our kind of glass material. We're getting some reflections from whatever's sort of behind and around our objects there as well. So that glass is working quite well there. Now what we'll do is we'll assign this glass to our glass layer like so. So it now applies to all our glass objects in our scene and we'll render it out from our chosen viewport to see how that's looking in our overall scene. We'll go render preview here and have a look. And as you can see we're now picking up some nice sort of colour and reflection from the surrounding sky we brought in in the previous video and we're kind of getting that glass material on this roof as well. So that's working quite well there. And the longer I leave this, obviously the higher quality we'll get. And this is just a preview, so it's quite grainy at the moment. But that was just a quick video tutorial on creation of a glass material in Rhino 7. In the next video, we're going to be looking at how to apply the similar technique to the creation of a water material as well, and where the differences lie between those two. Thank you for watching.